Hello and welcome to my YouTube page, Tiffany's Crafts. I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful shamrock granny square. I have a shorter version of this video and it's called How to Crochet Shamrock Granny's Triangle Square. If you would like to see a shorter one, and this is a longer version on how to make this granny square and it's more detailed. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube page, Tiffany's Crafts. Hello, these are the granny squares that we're going to be making. This is a shamrock granny square. And the way that we're going to be making this is that this shamrock granny square is actually a triangle. The shamrock is the green part here. And this right here is your triangle. And then we have a stem going down here. And then we're going to turn this triangle into a square by doing round two, which goes across here, and then round three is square. And the website's links them from my YouTube page. Tutorials can help you with this project. How to make a magic circle and how to make sides and squares. So the way that we're going to begin this is we're going to uh, make a um, magic circle and then we're going to chain three. That chain three is going to count as your first double crochet and then we're going to work two double crochet into the ring. From there, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to do three double crochet into the ring. And then we're going to repeat that one more time, and then we're going to slip stitch at the top. And that's how we're going to make this. Um, when, you, when you're going to be ready to slip stitch at the top, that's when you're going to create your stem. And this is what the stem looks like here. And the stem is actually three chain, chain of three, and then you're going to single crochet into that chain. Then you're going to knot it and cut it. And then you're going to begin with a new color if you want, or you can continue with the green. I kind of like the new color because um, it shows the the uh, it's shamrock more. And then you're going to do your four corners, one here, 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 and here, your four corners. And how are you going to make that into a four corners if you have three? triangle. You just have a triangle right here with three corners. And the way that you do that is you're going to make right here a corner inside of the shamrock on the other side of the stem here. And you're going to make a corner here. And that's how, how you make the four corners. Then when your four corners are done, you're going to 
you're going to slip stitch and then you're going to begin your third row which is a corner a side and a corner a side corner side corner side and corner and then if you wanted this to um, be larger you would just uh, repeat this third round except for you would put an addition two sides here wherever you have a side uh, here you're going to make two sides for your next round so each round would have additional sides then you go and then um, when you're done you want to leave a long tail here you don't want to cut that because that tail is going to help with putting your granny squares together now this hat that i have here is this hat that i have is granny square hat and it's made exactly like how we're going to do the shamrock we're going to put all the squares together you can use um, a whip stitch to do that and then and then um, a crocheted brim now when looking at a granny square it's going to have four corners. You, every granny square has four corners. Here, here, and here, and there. Where these holes are, that's where your corners are. And you're gonna have, of course, a circle in the middle. And the difference between this and your, your triangle square is that you're going to have three corners here. And your corners are right here, one, two, three but you're going to have here a stem so you can see the difference between a triangle and a, a square grain square and what they look like so we're going to start with a magic ring and I'm using uh, the green If you're enjoying this music, this is uh, my own music. It's called Easter Praise Harp Music Scenic 4K Stereo. And this is on my main page, Tiffany Juliet. I have many uh, videos of music that is very nice to listen to while you're crocheting. So we're going to start with a magic circle. And again, you can always watch my video on how to make a magic circle. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And then we're going to work two double crochets into this ring. And I have many tutorial videos on my YouTube page on how to do stitches. So we've done, we have three double crochets in the circle so far. Now we're going to chain three. And now we're going to do three double crochet into the ring.
So I have just finished this triangle. And remember that you're going to want to repeat the chain three and then three double crochet into the ring. I didn't show that last part. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And I had made the three crocheted for the stitch and then um, I single crocheted into here, into the chain. And then I did uh, a single crochet up into here past the stitch to lock it in place and to move the stitching closer to the next corner. And so now I have just um, put on some white yarn. I'm using alpaca, a touch of alpaca. And I am getting ready to um, do the granny squares, the uh, corners. I'm going to do the corners here and the three, and then I'm gonna add one more corner to add four corners total, which is round two of this project. So I am going to cut this. This, this is not my working yarn, the green anymore, because we've switched over to white. And if you have any questions on how to do uh, granny sides or uh, or corners, look at my videos on Tiffany's Crafts. I have a few on there on how to do sides and corners, which explains this a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is the four corners, the, this row here, which is row two, so we're gonna do this corner, this one, this corner, and this corner. And you notice that, again, that we have three, if this is our little shamrock, we only have three corners here, one, two, three, but we have to make it into four to make it into a square. So we're going to add a, another corner right here on the side of the stem, and that's how we're going to get the four corners. So it's going to look like that. It's going to be smaller. This is three. This square is three rows, rounds. So that's how we're going to do that. And uh, let's start with, um, we're going to chain one. Now we're not gonna work in here, which is normally what you would think that you would make your first corner. We're gonna do that later. And if you're enjoying these beautiful pictures, these are my flag irises that uh, grow in my garden. And it's on uh, a video on Tiffany's, my main page, Tiffany Juliet, which is called Listen to My St. Patrick's Day Celtic Meditation 2, Harp Music, Bible Verses, ASMR, Sleep, Study, Wedding, and all these photos I, I took of myself in my garden. So, in, so I'm going to work my way up into the corner. I'm gonna work my way up into this corner. And um, the way I'm going to do that, it just slip stitching into the stitches that I had previously done. And uh, I'm gonna work the, the green yarn that I had, had trimmed off to give it a nice finish. I 
remember when I took that picture of the monarch butterfly. It was a beautiful sunny day and I had been growing milkweed. I think it was in the, the milkweed was its third year growing in the garden. And uh, I had seen that butterfly on that flower and I thought I've got to take a photo of that. I'm glad that I did. So I have worked my way through two stitches. Now you can go all the way up to this corner if you want or, or not, I, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna just do it on the first two stitches. And we're going to do our corners, which is um, three double crochet, two chain, and then three double crochet. We're gonna do that in all of the corners. And we are using uh, US terminology. Okay, we've done our three double crochet and now we're going to do two chain. are my domestic ducks aren't they cute <laughs> that was the day that they were enjoying the pond and uh, I have a video on, uh, you know, on my website Tiffany Juliet uh, called taking care of domestic ducks in winter and in spring if you would like to see more uh, videos of my ducks they're crested ducks They're real cute. They have those feathers on top of their heads. Actually, they had come to adopt me. I didn't adopt them at all. <laughs> okay, so we have the, the first corner done on here. And I'm going to um, chain one before I go to the next corner. And we're going to um, repeat it. We're going to do three double crochet, which is actually a shell. And then we're going to do two a chain, chain of two, and now we're going to do another shell, which is just three double crochet. A shell is always three double crochet, unless if you want the shell bigger. nodding up so I have to fix that so fixing yarn that's knotted up sometimes yarn comes knotted up or just with working in it it's sometimes yarn will knot up and this is really easy you just cut the yarn and then you take the other side and you knot it you can knot it any way that you want to. I'm just gonna make sure that that knot is nice and tight. That's my other duck. <laughs> His name is Quackers. Isn't that funny? That was a female duck and he kind of adopted me. He came over to my home, like the pond, and that one's not crested. Okay, so now that we have it knotted, we're all set to go. 
So we're going to work on uh, doing another corner. So we have, have two corners done. Corner here and a corner here. There's my other ducks, the crested ones. Isn't it cute? I had two, two crested and a rowan duck and a, and, a, and a beautiful white one with blue eyes. <laughs> okay, so we have two corners and then we're going to be working into the next corner, which is right here. And we're going to chain one and we're just gonna work right into the corner. And we're going to repeat this pattern of uh, a shell, two chain, and then a shell. So we've done this, the shell, which was three double crochet, and then we're going to do two, chain of two, and then three more double crochet. And if I'm going too fast or if I'm going too slow, you can change the speed in the settings at the bottom of the video. Okay, now we're getting ready to make another corner. And this is the, um, we finished all three, making all three corners, but we need to make a fourth corner. So we're going to be working on that now. And uh, we're going to be working on the side of the stem in, inside of the shamrock. So we're going to um, make that and I'm going, you're going to have two choices here to make it inside of here or to make it in right in here and I'm going to make it right here that I always do it right here because you're naturally going to see a part where the top of the stem is and that's where you want to make that So we're just going to make this as how we always did for our uh, corners, which is a shell, chain of two, and another shell. So we just finished our shell and now we're going to do a chain of two. That chain of two is what makes the corner look square. Okay, now we're gonna be doing another shell which is just three double crochet. Okay, so now we have gotten our fourth 
corner. Done. And I usually pull the stem out a little bit. You see, the stem is not connected. Now, if you wanted to, when you're done with, with making this round, you could put a little stitch in here to connect the shelf, stitch it from here to these two stitches if you wanted it to be very secure, but I'm not doing that with mine. Okay, so we have our one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to find the chain of three that we began. So this is where it's located, one, two, and three. This is my, my beautiful garden in the winter time. So um, we're going to find the chain of three and we're going to do a slip stitch. And we are done with the round two. And this is what it's going to look like. I keep pulling this out and I keep uh, taking this corner and making it not so fanned out by, um, by trying to expose the screen part a little bit more so that you can see the, uh, the three leaves on the, the um, shamrock. And there is your round two. And so we are going to do round three. If you like this song, this song's called Danny Boy. I play that on my harp. And this picture was taken in uh, Pikes Peak, Colorado Springs, Colorado. So we're gonna be doing um, round three and round three is going to have shells in it. Sides, we're gonna have sides in it. Side is a shell. So remember, a corner is shell, two, chain of two, and another shell. And that's how we get this, this look here. And then um, it's called Danny Boy. I play that on my harp. And this picture was taken in uh, Pikes Peak, Colorado Springs, Colorado. So we're going to be doing um, round three. And round three is going to have shells in it sides. We're going to have sides in it. Side is a shell. So remember, a corner is shell, two, chain of two, and another shell. And that's how we get this, this look here. And then um, when we're going to do the side, it's just one shell. Remembering that a shell is three double crochet. So we're going to have a corner that's going to be right here. And then in this space here, we're going to have a shell and a corner. And then in this space here, we're going to have a shell in the space right here. And then a corner, and then we're going to have a shell down at the bottom where the stem is. Another corner, a shell here. And um, the top of our granny square is right here round it's right here so this would be a, a good time to put a stitch marker here or to just put a, um, a a piece of thread here to remind you that this is the beginning of uh, your round because it, it will help you t so you don't forget it's easy to do so I always have to put a stitch marker in or a piece of thread to remind me. So we're going to um, begin this with uh, with, cre with um, creating a corner. So we are just going to um, wrap around our, our uh, hook, which is a 5.00 H slash eight. And we're going to start with another corner. Oh, these are my domestic ducks. They are so cute. They come right up to my 
door and look in the window every day when they want to be fed. They're pretty tame. They are wild, though. Okay, so we've done uh, three shells, and then we're going, I mean, we've done one shell, which is three DC, and then we're going to do, we just did two chain, and now we're gonna do three more. DC is abbreviated for double crochet. Those little geese that you see here, they were only a day old when that picture was taken. They were checking out my daffodils. <laughs> they certainly do like them. They are so cute. Okay, so now we're getting ready to do a side. And I always like to at least do one single crochet after I uh, finish a corner. It just gives it a better look. And then um, I'm going to do the shell in this hole right here, right in here. And I do have um, tutorials on how to do a shell and how to uh, do a corner. Okay, so we have our shell done, our first shell, and now we're going to do another corner. And we're going to do the corner right here in this hole. And remember that that hole is where we had done the chain of two in the previous round, which I had mentioned earlier that gives you the square look. So we're gonna do a corner. Okay, so we have finished our corner and now we're going to, to do a side and we're going to do the side right here. We're doing the sides in between the corners of the last round. So if you look at this here, there's a corner here and a corner here. So we know we're going to do our side right here in this, in this hole here. And our side is just a shell, which is three double crochet. Okay, so we have done a side and two corners, and now we're going to do another corner in here. A 
that is my butterfly garden in spring. It's our alliums, which are bulbs that come up every year. Most bloom in May or June. Okay, now we want to do a side, which is going to be right here where the stem is. And this is about the time when you want to decide if you want to sow this, the end of the stem or not. You can incorporate that in with the side if you want, or you can do it separate, or you can just let it be, leave it like that. I'm, I'm not going to um, sew that in. I kind of like the look of it not being sewn in. So that's up to you, which one you prefer. I'm using a touch of alpaca and cream. That's the yarn that I'm using. I really like this material. Okay, so we have corner, side, corner, corner, side, corner, side. Now if you get lost, because I, I didn't put in the um, thread to show me where my end of my row is what you can do is you can look at this and you can see that this isn't straight across it's kind of like you can see that this is shorter than this part so you know to, to keep on going until you reach here so my finger was in the way here so you see that this side is shorter than this so then you know that um, just keep on going and, and then right there's the end of your round which is actually when you're working on this granny square the side of it is the uh, end of your round not the top because the top is over here that's kind of tricky so we're going to do another corner We are finishing up the last of this granny square, the shamrock granny square, and we had finished the side. Now we're going to do the do the um, corner. I'm going to make a hat out of this granny square. I've made several granny squares, the shamrock granny square. And then I'm going to put them together.
and then we're going to do one more side and then we're done with this. I'm going to put this side in this hole right here because that's the most available space to put the side in. Those are my forget-me-nots that are on the computer screen in the mound where my garden is with the daffodils. I mostly have white daffodils in that mound. Okay, so we are at the end of this round and we're going to look for the chain of three. It's right here. One, two, and three. And we're going to do a slip stitch in there. And we're done with our granny square. And again, we're going to keep a long tail on here so we can use that for um, putting the granny squares together to make a hat, which I will use whip stitch to put the, um, sew them together. So there's our granny square that we just made. I'm going to put online a video on how to make this hat and um, some tutorial videos that I have online that can help with um, making this granny squares, how to make a circle, a magic circle, and how to make sides and corners. And that's how we pull it through to make a knot. And then we're just going to take these ends here and we're going to weave them in. First, I'm going to knot it because this is what makes the circle tight in the center of the magic circle. And I'm going to um, tighten it by pulling on it to make it tighter. And then I'm going to knot it and weave in this end here into the green area. And I may or may not do the, this one because it's kind of short. So it shows the, the three triangles which be represent the three leaves of the shamrock and then um, here and then a nice stem down here I like the cream colored because it, it goes so well with the green thank you for watching